I believe my land will enrich the lands of Brazil. Potassium is an essential mineral for life on Earth, used mainly in the composition of agricultural fertilizers called NPK, which combine fractions of the three main plant micronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These nutrients promote an increase in agricultural productivity with better use of cultivated areas, which favors the preservation of thousands of hectares of forests and native flora. Potassium is known in the agricultural industry as the element of quality because it is essential in almost all processes that support the growth and reproduction of plants, as well as helping to fight diseases and control quality factors such as size, shape, color, and vigor of seeds and grains. The main way to obtain this nutrient is from potassium chloride, more commonly known as potash, present in saline rocks called evaporites. These deposits provide salts with a high concentration of potassium and are soluble in water that can be easily explored and processed by the mineral industry to produce potash. Currently, Brazil is the second largest consumer of potash in the world but produces only about 5% of its growing demand. To meet the needs of the important Brazilian agricultural industry, most of the potash consumed in the country is imported from the main producing countries in the world, Canada, Russia, Germany, and Israel. In the Altazi subsoil, there is a large potassium reserve capable of supplying, in the coming years, 20 to 30 percent of the potash that Brazil needs to expand its agricultural industry. The deposit consists of a sub-horizontal underground layer that is approximately 13 kilometers in length, 10 kilometers in width, located at about 800 meters in depth. Our main objective has always been to create a sustainable project that is committed to the community. And for that, large investments were made in impact studies and environmental programs. In addition to overcoming the difficulties inherent in operating an underground mine, the project must be integrated into the region, seeking to mitigate as much as possible any negative impact. The Autazi's potash project is comprised of a mine with strictly underground operations, planned according to the most advanced engineering concepts. Panel mining will be carried out using the long pillars and rooms method. Access to the underground will be done through two entrances or shafts. One of them will be used to transport people, production, equipment, and materials. The other will be for ventilation. On the surface, the project will have a processing plant that will be built in areas that are predominantly pasture lands, minimizing the impact on natural vegetation. The processing plant will have the capacity to treat 8.5 million tons per year of ore and produce 2.4 million tons per year of granular potash. Responsibility for the use of water resources is a main concern of the project. The raw water that will be used to supply the project will be supplied by the Madeira River and will not impact water availability as it represents only 0.01% of the river's natural flow. The project was designed seeking the lowest consumption of water and no discharge of any effluent into rivers. The technological route of the processing plant basically consists of the following operations. Receiving ore, crushing, hot leaching, crystallization, drying and compacting of potassium chloride to saleable potash. Potassium processing results in a byproduct, sodium chloride, better known as table salt, 
which, although it may have commercial applications, in the studies is considered a waste due to its low value. For the disposal of sodium chloride, wet tailing dams will not be used. The proposed disposal methods use the most modern technologies including dry stacks to fill excavated rooms that have been fully mined out in a process called backfill. The remaining tailings will be deposited in open piles and converted into saltwater brine by dissolution through rain and water spraying upon the dry piles. The brine will be collected in storage tanks and then injected at a depth of 400 meters into aquifers whose water has natural chemical characteristics that are unsuitable for use as a water resource under environmental legislation. The tailings piles were the focus of a special containment study to ensure shallow aquifers are not contaminated. The granulated product will be transported by truck over a distance of approximately 12 kilometers to the shipping port which will be built on the left bank of the Madera River, close to the village of Urucurachiba. The road that connects the processing plant and the port already exists, but it is an unpaved path that needs to be upgraded. Two 3.5 meter wide road lanes and two 2.5 meter shoulder lanes will be built. In addition to a two meter lane to be used as a safe path for pedestrians and cyclists. The port of Urukurachiba, in addition to being used for the delivery of potash to farmers, will also serve to receive supplies needed for operation of the project. Finally, the potash will continue to the main Brazilian agricultural consumer markets, ending the potassium cycle from earth to earth. The project's electrical energy will be obtained from a high voltage network interconnected to the Tucururi Manaus line with approximately 165 kilometers in length and will bring quality energy to several communities in the municipality of Altazis and the southern bank of the Amazon River. Growth of the economy is fundamental for development and consequently for the improvement of people's quality of life. By promoting the diversification of the local economy, the project can generate great benefits for the communities with an increase in the number of jobs and great income for the municipality through taxes and royalties. But for these benefits to be effectively provided, the region's particularities and its environmental richness must be observed with special attention. In this context, the project has always sought to produce the best impact studies to ensure a viable proposal for sustainable income generation that is appropriate for the region. The Potash Project will be a starting point for the sustainable development of the Autazis region transforming the municipality into the largest producer of this essential agricultural nutrient in Brazil, contributing to the continuous growth of the natural agricultural sector, which is one of the main economic engines of the country.